Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Utah Jazz My GM. Now, hopefully, you guys, you enjoyed the mega episode that I put out, I believe, yesterday when this video will be going up. So, we have some things that we need to go over. First of all, I have simulated about 13, 12 games into the season, just so all the players with their trade exceptions are gone. So, our current roster. Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, John Collins, Kuzma, our new draft pick Petrovic, Bogdanovich, Curry, Rubio, and so on. The injury bug is back again. John Collins was hurt. Now Mirko Petrovic is hurt. Trey Burke is out for four to six weeks. And the guy who we were trying to trade for this entire time is out for four to six weeks with a pinched nerve in his back. So, as you can see, we're 2-11, and, and honestly, that's probably because of our abundance at the center and power forward position. We have Kuzma, Collins, Rudy Gobert, and Mirko Petrovic. So we have a couple options that we need to weigh. One thing I want to see is what happens if we change Petrovic to a power forward. I want to see how much his overall drops if we move him down so if we move that to power forward and that to center we can play the two big so he'll be an 84 at, at the power forward position which honestly i'm pretty happy about that means we don't have any backup centers though and we can't move kuzma uh let's see could we move collins to backup center possibly and get a really good backcourt coming off the bench so collins Let's edit you and see what you turn into when we turn you into a center power forward. And you become an 83. So if I rebuild the rotations really quickly, we would have Gobert and preferably Petrovic starting at the 3 and 4. And then we would have Collins and Kuzma coming off the bench at a, as the power forward and center as well. So our point guard, Trey Burke is injured at uh, 74. I had to sign Bryn Forbes, and we actually have the Warriors rookie, Quinn Cook, starting at the small forward position for us. I do not know what's going on with this team. If we look at the morale, everybody's uneasy or not really feeling that well, anxious. and it, 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 We have some chemistry issues. We are only at 47%. Ricky Rubio and Gobert are really bringing things down. Kyle Kuzma as well. So we definitely have a lot of things that we need to adjust. And even with all these things, I have not been able to get a trade for Jackson Baldwin. It seems impossible to trade him, which is dumb on 2K's part. For every player in the NBA, possibly excluding LeBron James, there is no price there is always a price, excuse me, that you can trade for someone. So I don't really understand that. But Petrovic is out for two to four weeks, and I don't want him coming back only halfway. So him and Trey Burke are going to be on a reserve for a little while. So we have some stuff to figure out. We have a, a very hard stretch against teams like the Rockets and Cavs and Thunder, Portland and Toronto coming up. And I don't even know if we have our pick for this year. We don't even have our pick. I believe we actually traded that away when we got our original pick. So we, that's our 20, let's see, our 2019 pick. I don't even know who, who has our 2019 pick. I think it actually may be Boston. Does Boston have our pick? Who has the Jazz pick? Pelicans, no, where, where is it? Does no, they, nobody has it? Okay, so they have our top 10 protected pick. So if we fall inside the top 10, then we'll be able to get that pick. Sign Bryn forms off a free agency, and honestly, the only thing holding us back is injuries and our point guard spot. So uh, I, I'm going to need to look for a point guard to probably replace Quinn Cook. He's a great scorer, but I don't know if he'll be good enough to last us and try and make a playoff run this season. So what we're going to do, I'm going to simulate uh, probably until 
Mr. Jackson Baldwin is healthy or Miko is healthy again. And uh, I'll bring you guys back, hopefully, with uh, some trade offer we can get Jackson Baldwin with. Guys, I could get LeBron James and I wouldn't be able to get Jackson Baldwin. Look at the trade that I was offering. I was offering Petrovich, John Collins, my first round pick, second round pick, second round pick, and another second round pick. Four, Jackson Baldwin and the lowest rated player on the Hawks 2k I don't understand it but since that is not attainable I did do something else I traded Kyle Kuzma and two second round picks for David West and the unprotected magic first round pick this year now, this year's draft class, unlike last year's, is extremely deep. And right now, the Magic have the ninth pick, and we have... I don't even know where ours is. We have the top 10 protected pick. So, we would have the second pick. Since our pick is top 10 protected by the Bulls, we would get it if it falls in the top 10. So, hopefully, if we're able to get these two picks... We trade these two, Petrovich, for Jackson Baldwin. Jackson Baldwin is the end-all, be-all in this game. I have done my research, and this man dominates 2K for his entire career. So, it is imperative that we get him before his draft, his stock rises completely out of our price range. So, here is the new lineup. Rubio, Donovan Mitchell, Bogdanovich, Petrovich, Gobert, John Collins, Curry, Sampson, West, and Babbitt. Trey Burke and Tony Allen are both injured, and we're currently 7-23. and 23. I don't know where the disconnect is in this team. Petrovich is actually our best player right now. 20-10 and 10 with two assists and two blocks. Donovan Mitchell's playing well. But Rudy Gobert is really where we're struggling. He's not doing very well at all, shooting 43% from the field. So we're going to have to look at possible trades for him. I would like to move per uh, Petrovic back up to the center position since that is his natural position. And then we could put him alongside John Collins. And that would be a dynamic duo along with Donovan Mitchell. But I'm going to simulate through more of the season. And uh, I'll see you guys back. And well, you know what? We'll play a game. We're going to play at the Warriors January 3rd. All right, guys. Facing the Warriors in Sacramento. I want to get Mirko Petrovic. I want to play with him. I've never actually played with Petrovic before. I know he can shoot. Or I thought he could shoot at least. That's my fault. Back? Okay. Clearly, we're going to have to play some stellar defense here. I want to get Petrovic and Gobert in the post at all costs. So let me just start off with getting Petrovic down there and see how he works against someone like Draymond Green. I have to say, he's just moving Draymond out of the way. And he's apparently great on the offensive boards as well. No, don't give him that. This is going to be a very, very shot-worthy game. A lot of shots are going to go up, and a lot of shots are going to go in. And there goes Dreamon. Okay. Let's get Petrovic involved. I want to see if I can get him coming, use him in the screen and roll. Get that to Petrovic, and just have Petrovic attack in there. Able to finish. He's got a great touch around the rim. All right. Time to get Donovan Mitchell going. He he is being guarded by the Warriors' best defender, Clay Thompson. But we're going to have to get around that if we have a chance. Bogdanovich, green light from deep. Don't give that to him, Petrovic. Oh, Petrovic with the steal? Petrovic taking it all the way. He's incredibly fast for a big man. The speed, I mean, he just sped burst right past KD right there. I mean, just... You have to have a good speed attribute to be able to get past him like that. No, why is Clay open? 
We, I put on no threes. We have to stay on the man who we're guarding. It's just basic defensive schemes like this. All right, give it up to Petrovic. He's got the wide open lane. There we go. Two fouls on Draymond. Let's get him out of the game so we can post up Petrovic. All right. A cold curry. Cold curry. That's pretty good, but... Donovan Mitchell on seven Curry. I got to call an ISO and just drive right past Curry. Get that back out. Let's let's give Petrovic an isolation on KD in the post. There is no way that KD's strong enough to deal with him. Just right over the top of KD. He just gets every offensive rebound. Why, Rubio? Why? We're getting so lucky with these misses. I actually need to check my settings in a second. Petrovic coming all the way down with the and one. That's 14 of our 17 points coming from Mirko Petrovic. And he's got a perfect release on the free throw. We got the boy Steph Curry in the game. Donovan Mitchell for three. Absolutely routing Golden State. In the first quarter. No. Petrovic is all around. Like, he could be a point forward if we need him to. And just running right by these power forwards. Slow, throwing it down over Jordan Bell. So, guys, the Mirko Petrovic experiment seems to be working. He put up 31 and 15. In 33 minutes, he did take 27 shots, which is a bit much uh, for my taste. But six offensive rebounds, he carried us. In the end, we did up winning by six points. Uh, for some reason, I thought the scores were switched. But Golden State had a rough night, even with three players in 20. Curry shot one for 10 from three. And Mirko Petrovic just put it on. Player rating of... 35 i mean looking at him as a potential prospect he is easily underrated amongst jackson baldwin and freddie staples but that will be all for me today thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe for more episodes of the jazz my gm and i'll see you next time